Oh my gosh, okay. Woo! Good morning, everyone. Um, first things first, I saw tan last night and like my hand, not this one, this one, what is that? I even used like a brush, I did the whole thing. I'm seriously so over my self tan hands. Also, I know I mentioned this in a vlog before, but I am so obsessed with these Chobani yogurts. Are these really bad for you? Tell me the truth. Um, and I either put like mango and honey or blueberry honey in every morning, it's so good. Anyways, um, happy Friday, guys. I wanted to vlog today, honestly. I have been reading so much this week. I think I'm on my fourth book, literally my fourth book. It's insane. I just got, got the best email literally ever. Okay, anyways. Oh, I'm also wearing my new outro voices that they sent me. So cute. I feel really colorful, so it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I wish this was gray, but I still like it. I've truly just been having the best coffees in the morning. Wow, what a combo. I have read, I think, I need to actually count, but I think almost 20 books this year. I'm just a reading machine, guys. Like, I don't know what happened. I was reading a lot of nonfiction books, so a lot of, like, a lot of, like, faith-based, like, kind of, like, I don't like the term self-help, but, like, self-help, essentially. Um, like, Get Out of Your Head, Jenny Allen, such a good book. The Sacred Search, so good, with this elimination of hurry, all that. Open book, Jessica Simpson. Incredible. Such a good book. Uh, Demi Moore's book, whatever. Then I was like, you know, I've read like nine nonfiction books in a row. So I need to just like, you know, get into the whole fiction swing of things. I haven't read a fiction book in like two months. Oh my gosh. So my friend Jess, who I literally, if I ever refer to a friend who gives me a suggestion to rec, it's normally either Lauren or Jess. Anyways, she texted me because I asked for book recs and she's like, oh my gosh, you have to read The Last Mrs. Parrish. Also, I'm so sorry. This whole vlog isn't going to be about books. I just keep getting a lot of questions and I wanted to share because all I've been doing is reading. Like, I literally, oh my gosh, it's just so amazing. So, I started reading The Last Mrs. Parrish. I finished that in two days. Such a good book. Like, this is, that's my all-time fave quarantine read. Um, as far as my fiction books goes, The Last Mrs. Parrish. Wow, Liv Constantine can do no wrong. I literally, she has a book coming out May 19th. I have it on my calendar, and it's, like, on pre-order. Like, is that not ridiculous that I'm at that level? I followed her on Instagram. Like, here I am. Then I read her other book, The Last Time I Saw You. So good. Um, her books are... No, that's someone's DoorDash. Never mind. Then I read The Last Time I Saw You. That one's more of like a murder mystery. So good. Then I read The Couple Next Door. Crazy book. Unreal. Then I read You Are Not Alone. Everyone is like raving about You Are Not Alone. Really good. But my it's probably the fourth on the list. With that being said, I've read four bangers in a row. So like, it still is really, really good. I would like recommend it still, um, but I'm just more into like couple mystery stuff right now. I don't know why. I'm now I'm reading Little Secrets because Liv Constantine recommended it on her Instagram, and I started that last night. Okay, so I'm literally on my fifth book in six days. You may be asking where I get all this time to read. One, I read really fast. Two, um, I will go to bed at like 8 p.m. and then I don't go fall asleep until one, so I read for like five hours a day at least. And I just, I, I'm like so hooked on it. I can't stop. I was like this when I was younger. I've always loved reading, but this is a whole new level. This is like my quarantine routine. Basically, I'm just not watching any Netflix or Hulu at all. Like I haven't watched really Nashville. I watch like one episode a day, if that, because I make myself. Um, I'm on the last season. I don't really want to finish it. I've already explained this. Anyways, but all I do is read outside of like working and cleaning my house and stuff. So anyways, that is my little quarantine update. Literally all I do is read. It's really been something. Um, I have forgotten how much I love just spending time alone. I think like it's just been really good for me. I think I've really enjoyed my time. But anyways, today I need to get some work done. I am recording an episode with Jamie. She's the founder of It Cosmetics. I love her. One of my favorite episodes ever. Um, I think it's the Rachel Hollis podcast with Jamie. Such a good podcast episode. Anyways, um, she's coming on mine next week. We're going to record my first like real virtual one with someone I haven't met before. So that'll be interesting. I need to set all of that up and prep for the episode. And then um, my semester ends on Tuesday. I finished all my assignments, I think. I'm like almost positive. There's nothing that I see that I haven't done, but I just need to double, triple, triple check and make sure everything's in order. I was like, oh my gosh, I'll have even more time to read because I don't have school anymore. Then I realized that um, unfortunately I have summer classes. So after this graduation update, I have five classes left. So I'm taking three classes this summer and then two in the fall um and we're in session so i'll probably be done by like october and then i'll have my bachelor's so anyways i can you tell i've missed vlogging guys oh my gosh i read last night uh, 
all I talk about is reading. I read last night on my rooftop and it was literally the most incredible experience ever. I want to get all of my work done now so I can just go read for the rest of the day. This is why I haven't been vlogging because all I've been doing is reading. So like, you know what I mean? It's like not that interesting. All right, guys, I got all of my work done for today. Um, the work light was very, very slim, but I'm going to go on Instagram live because don't follow me. Hello. I miss you. Coco's just watching me on Instagram live. Guys, look at my nice surprise guest. I think we just got kicked off Instagram live because we were on it too long. Dom ended up coming on and it was so fun. We kind of want to do a Zoom happy hour. And on the live, a lot of you guys were like convincing me that I should just buy a Peloton bike. And then I went on to buy one and splurge because I'm like, you know, who knows how long we're going to be here. And they are now taking seven weeks to deliver. So I just don't think that's worth it because the main point is that I want to use it while we're here. And that's like two months away. So it's really unfortunate. But I also know it's a good investment because like it'll be great to have for the house anyways. But I also don't like how you buy it. And then you buy it for like $2,400. And then you have to spend $40 a month on the membership, which sounds like kind of dumb. But anyways, Dom on the live recommended a new book to me that's kind of about healing, which has been like my theme of quarantine, so I want to read that. Um, I'm so sorry that all I'm talking about is reading, but I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to read on the rooftop and then keep my phone on the in my room in charge. That's what I've been doing lately. It's been really nice. I'll take you guys along. All right, guys, switching into my outdoor slippers. You guys know the routine. Coco's Donut literally follows me everywhere I go. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm on the rooftop. I was just reading a little bit, but I wanted to give you guys a little update on what I've recently purchased. So you guys know I got another one of these lounge chairs. I also got another rug. These should be in this weekend. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get the lounge chair up because it's just too heavy for me, so I'll have to figure that out, but that's coming. So I got two umbrellas, one for here and then one for the couch just because it gets really bright. And it's super wide up here, so you can only imagine, like, how blinding it is. I also, like my neighbors, I got um, lights like that for nighttime, but I haven't set them up yet. Okay, so this corner will be, like, the lounge area. This is going to be made into a dog park. I ordered turf and then a gate, so that also actually should be in this weekend, hopefully. I don't know how I'm going to best decorate this area. I also have a kid pool coming in, so, like, where is that going to go? I don't know. Honestly, over there, over here, who knows? Like, it depends on how the dog park goes. Um and how I end up wanting to set that up if I do it this way. I really need the other lounge chair. I understand the kid pool is a little bit ridiculous, but like it gets hot up here and it's going to be summer. So I wish that this wasn't here because it would be the perfect corner for it. Now I'm almost like, oh, I have too much stuff for up here. But anyways, it's going to work really well. Um, I love this couch. I will have everything linked down below. This is just going to be incredible. I look like ridiculous. Um, it is so bright out. Oh my gosh. But I've just been reading. I need to make lunch because it's I think it's like three something but I was reading the changes that heal book really good I'm gonna go back to my fiction reading I kind of just skimmed it obviously I didn't finish it but um, I just like read a few chapters when I'm back to my nonfiction reading I'm gonna go through it like really go through it but that's just not really my vibe right now I just kind of wanted to see a few chapters and it's really interesting so anyways I think I'm gonna go downstairs and maybe make some food okay guys my trash is getting picked up right now which is actually um a very exciting part of my week because i always have so many boxes that i always need my trash to be picked up these are the exciting things that happen when you're a real adult so it is 3 30 i really really need to make some lunch i have not had an appetite lately at all i'm never hungry it's just really annoying chickpea recipe i'm out of avocado which really kills kills my ideas for today. I'm thinking, I just thought of this random concoction of chickpeas, sweet potato, onion, buffalo sauce. This is either gonna be really good or really bad. Okay, I actually just wanna say this is incredible. It started off as what food do I actually have and need to get rid of? And then it ended up being an incredible lunch. Amazing, like it's actually so freaking good. All right guys, it is now 4 p.m., which really just means it is time for me to read. 4.30, okay, that's good. I've just been waiting to read my book all day, even though I read that one on the rooftop, but that was more of I was learning. Hi guys, okay, I have been outside all day. I hope you can understand me under the AC, but it's Sunday and I've been laying out and working on the rooftop yet again. These are the Amazon sunglasses for like $12. Also, 
I keep getting questions in vlogs, blah, blah, blah. I'm just only vlogging myself right now. Not that I'm like seeing a bunch of people, I'm only seeing one person who's also quarantining, but like just not dealing with it right now. So anyways, I'll show you guys the updates on my rooftop. Okay, so the floors drive me insane because we still haven't cleaned them, but um, we have right here the chairs. So the second one came and then I just set that up today and the dog fence came. I, I have more that I can add once the turf gets in and I can see like what size I want, you know, and like make it in there. Coco literally loves the rooftop. I have so much stuff out here. I got canes earlier and I just have been like really lounging today, but it's been so nice. Oh my gosh. I brought this up thinking I was gonna like do something with it on my Instagram stories, but I never did. So that's that. Sorry, I've been off my vlogging game, but honestly, it's just really hard to vlog when all you do is read and work. It's not that fun, and I feel like a lot of my vlogs are repetitive. But I'm actually gonna make the spicy fusilli pasta from John and Vinny's tonight. I have all new groceries. Really excited for that. I need to shower off, honestly, and maybe go and start on dinner, just so I have it. I'm gonna take you guys with me to do a cooking with Kenzie. Okay, so I got the rug from my office. I'm not like as obsessed with it as I was online, but I think it's growing on me, and obviously I need to position it better and like fix it and put things together but like with the decor it's all like brown black and kind of gray so i don't know we'll figure it out oh my gosh guys coco literally loves the rooftop she just smiles now 24 7 because she's outside so much oh my gosh she just looks so happy hi guys okay so i've now since showered i feel like this needs to zoom out a little bit i have since showered, we're gonna do cooking with Kinsey. Um, I have all the stuff that I need for the vodka fusilli pasta. I'll have it linked down below. You just need Parmesan. I know that this is like really ungodly to use this, but not like actually, you know, grate it and stuff, but I ordered my groceries and that wasn't an option. Olive oil, basil, unsalted butter, heavy whipping cream, um, tomato paste, pepper. We need red pepper flakes and I could have sworn I had them and they're all gone garlic, uh, shallots, which I literally cannot find because I know that I have them, so I'm confused. You need vodka, obviously. Tito's, you know, from Texas. And then, this is where I really messed up. Well, I didn't mess up. I ordered my groceries, but I ordered fusilli and that didn't come. But we have penne, which is fine. It's whatever. I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey of my John and Vinny's vodka fusilli sauce. I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey in my John and Vinny's Waka Facility. This is the best pasta you'll ever have in your entire life. It's really good. John and Vinny's is my favorite restaurant in LA. A lot of you guys love it. It is so good. If you ever go to LA, you need to go. There's one in West Hollywood and Brentwood. So freaking good. I just feel so good. Like, you know when you've been laying out all day or outside by the pool and you shower and then you just feel like a new human? That's how I feel right now. All right, people, so we're off to a great start because I don't have shallots already, um, but you need a fourth cup olive oil and then you just cut up garlic, and this is supposed to like kind of cook for five minutes and then you add in the tomato paste. It's actually really easy to make this now that I'm like actually looking at it. Okay, it is really important that I add, well, we have tomato paste, we did the vodka, cooked out, and now there's heavy cream. You guys will see, like, no, I don't feel like anyone's actually following me in the vlog, but I'll have it linked down below. It's looking really great and promising. I actually feel pretty confident. Sorry about the air fryer. But the most important thing about making a vodka fusilli pasta is that you have, you play my John and Vinny Spotify playlist. John and Vinny, if you guys have ever been, you know that they have the best playlist literally ever. It's like Lil Wayne to like JoJo, Ali and AJ, Casey Musgraves. Like, they just like kill it in the playlist format. So I started a playlist and I would add music every time they were there. So it's a really good cooking playlist if you're like in a good mood and not necessarily like you want to chill and wind down and listen to like Dolly Parton and like Frank Sinatra, you know what I mean? But you gotta listen to like, you know, more of like a John and Vinny's vibe. This actually really looks like the sauce. I'm like actually incredibly impressed with myself. Okay, guys, you're on a tripod right now for the first time ever, but it looks a lot more red on camera. It's definitely like the John and Vinny's color. All right, so I cooked the, I actually did find fusilli in my pantry, so we're good, but I cooked the fusilli, um, and then you just needed an extra cup of the, sorry, you needed a cup of the like cooking liquid, and then you just put half in. If you need another half cup, you can. I might add a little bit more water. Um, it's pretty much done. You just like top it with basil and Parmesan, but it smells really freaking good. I'm like very impressed with myself, guys. Okay, I have my dinner outside. It's like 7.40, I always come to the rooftop. 
because it's just so pretty and so nice. Good morning, everyone, from the rooftop again. Um, so last night, I actually started a new book, surprise, surprise. I started reading Behind Closed Doors last night. Um, it's so good. I actually was able to go to bed last night at like 10 for the first time in so long, and I think it's just because I spent the day in the sun. I've been having a lot of problems being able to sleep. Um, I made a iced coffee this morning, got the Starbucks like blonde roast, and then my normal like milk that I've been using. I also got metal straws. I feel like it would really improve the um, experience, overall experience of this, but I forgot them downstairs. Anyways, I just did my devotion. I was just reading comments from the last vlog and how you guys really want me to go through them. Um, oh, you know what? I actually haven't even read my like actual book, so I'll read that, but I started off my morning by a gratitude list. I'm really trying to start that and honestly, it really helps. Like I was thinking yesterday how I'm just like, literally could cry like I'm so grateful for my family and it's like I didn't grow up in like a perfect family by any means of like my parents are divorced it was messy like it's you know I mean it's just like I feel like a lot of us come from like broken type families but I'm just so grateful for one just my family in general too I love having a big family and that was like the pro of all of this and then also just like I literally could call my dad and be like dad I need you and he's like there immediately same for my mom like like all of my siblings everyone my cousins like I'm just so grateful and they really are like my best friends so that was one thing I also said my rooftop um what else did I say also my books you guys know I've been so into reading lately that's just like really brought like I don't even know what it's brought into my life, but it's been good. I think it's just been good for me. I grew up reading so much and I just loved it. Um, but just being able to like work at my house and honestly spend time like by myself, I haven't been able to do that really in so long because I was like always with, I'm normally always with friends or like I was, you know, I'm always with people basically. So that's also been something, but I'm just really grateful this morning. So anyways, it's Monday. Um, I am just like, honestly, at quarantine I'm struggling to be like super motivated I'm not like um, I pre filled a bunch last week so I can just edit mainly this week and just do some vlogs and stuff but um, I need to edit some of that I haven't been like I need to work 24 7 and I think that's okay but um, you know tomorrow I'm actually recording with Jamie Kern Lima I think I'm pretty sure she's like having her baby this week but um, Tomorrow on zoom my first zoom recording so that'll be interesting I need to figure all that out tonight and then also also doing an interview for someone and then I'm recording for Lauren's podcast and then we have the Bible study Dom is texting me, but yeah, that's really been it Anyways, um, I don't really know what I'm gonna vlog. I feel like so many of my vlogs have been so repetitive So I'm just trying to get clips of things that I am actually like. Oh, this is good. You know, I definitely need to clean and I need to edit today that's the that's the plan I think maybe I'll go to my office and stuff but I might even lay out again guys laid out for like hours yesterday UV index was nine absolutely nothing just nothing at all give me tanning tips because this is just like pathetic at this point all right guys so I'm in my room it's like noon now I'm actually gonna vacuum and just clean off this stuff but my pool came in I'm so excited I actually got look how big like that's so cute I'm not like absolutely obsessed with this print. Part of me wishes I would have just got the like Beverly Hills Hotel like palm tree type thing. I personally don't love palm trees. This kind of fits my vibe more. I'm not obsessed, but I do like it. Anyways, this is just an inflatable pool. Guys, I know I'm an adult, but like whatever, who cares? It's funny. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna go put this on my rooftop today, which I'm so excited for. And then I have like an air pump. My room is so much cleaner. I'm actually gonna sit down and edit a video. I don't know why this fell. I took my iPad case off. Also, by the way, if you guys have an iPad Pro, get the keyboard case. It really, truly is so worth it. Anyways, I'm gonna edit a video for Wednesday because I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. And then I think I'm gonna go do the pool and stuff. I need to work out at some point, but tomorrow is a really full day. So I wanna get everything done here. All right guys, um, Aerie's having a really big sale and I need swimsuits. I have like none, so I'm getting a bunch. It's just buy one, get one free, basically. Um, and then I love their just like oversized crews and those are on sale, so I'm gonna get a gray and a white. I wear them literally all the time, but yeah, I'm getting a ton of stuff. Let's see the, what I'm getting as a deal. Yeah, $115 off, so that's really, really good. And free shipping, good. All right guys, the pool has been 
blown up. It's actually a really good size for a kiddie pool. Like two adults, uh, three adults honestly could definitely fit in here. Um, it's funny, but it's also cute. So I'll have it linked down below. Guys, I'm so excited. I have another set that came in. If you guys, thank you so much. This is so cute. Like actually the cutest. If you guys want to shop, that is the Instagram. Um, but I've been wanting tie-dye sets so I can feel included. I just don't have my washer and dryer here yet, so I can't do it. But I just want to say, this is hand-dyed, but I am literally so impressed. I'm going to wear this tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm just seriously so impressed. I think it's the cutest thing ever. So I will be wearing this tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I'm making my breakfast. Um, I'm using this Starbucks iced coffee. I It's the blonde roast. I've only had it once um, yesterday, but so far I really like the chameleon cold brew a lot better. I still like this, but the chameleon one is just better and it gives you a lot more energy. And then again, my favorite um, non-dairy milk blend. It's so freaking good. Good morning, everyone. Okay, it is Tuesday morning, 10.30. I woke up around 9 30. Okay, guys, I like hate that I'm coming to this conclusion, but hear me out. So, I read on my iPad 24 7, as we know, and it's like kind of becoming difficult to read on my iPad on my um, like rooftop. And I bet there's probably screens that turn your iPad into like a Kindle paper feel so it doesn't get affected by the sunlight, but I don't really want to put a screen protector on it like that. So, Anyways, yesterday, so as we know, Lauren is like a Kindle fanatic, and if you guys listen to like our podcast, Mood, Okay Sis, whatever, you guys would know that Lauren like hates that we don't have Kindles, even though I have an iPad, so it's like at least a little bit similar. I used to have a Nook when I was little. Anyways, um, I was just bored yesterday, so I was trying to start drama in our group chat because Maddie tried out the <laughs> Kindle, and I knew that she didn't like it, so I was just trying to like, you know, start drama. I was bored. And now I'm like, okay, I actually think I might buy a Kindle because I can't read on the rooftop. And I read literally 24 seven, I'm about to finish another book and then I'm starting a book that Lauren's like making me read. So anyways, who really knows what's gonna happen to people, but I made my iced coffee. Um, I have my breakfast right now. Um, I think I'm going to, well, I don't think. Um, at noon I have a recording with Jamie Crin Lima of It Cosmetics. I never record remotely ever. This is my first one actually um, for my own podcast. I mean, that's not true. I recorded with Gals on the Go and stuff, but like a Zoom official, I don't know them. We were not friends before kind of recording. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous because I think recordings are a lot better in person, but you know, you gotta make it work. Also Dallas, so anyway, today's April 28th. And at first our stay at home was until April 30th. Then Dallas County extended until um, May 15th. Then like Texas, the state <laughs> went and went back on that and said on Friday, so April 30th, we will start re or May 1st, I guess, we will start reopening, I don't even know, either May 30th or May 1st or April 30th, whatever. We're gonna start reopening like restaurants and stuff to like a 25% capacity and then May 15th, there'll be like a second phase. But I'm just like, what? Like I'm a little bit confused about that. So let me know what you guys think and like what your states are doing. But I mean, Dallas County was like, we're staying on stay at home. And since Texas said that, like that overwrites Dallas counties. Um, but it's just really interesting. So that's that recording. Hopefully it goes well. I'm just like kind of afraid. Um, we'll see. Guys, I just recorded legit the best podcast episode ever. I was in tears. I love Jamie. Um, but Lush just sent me a little gift. It's like for a Mother's Day thing. Um, a bath bomb, the Mamma Mia sugar scrub or shower scrub. And then the shower gel, which I'm excited for. So I'm going to put that back in my room. I have another interview in like 15. Guys, I just like cannot get over how that was literally the best conversation I think I've ever had. I like there was multiple times during it that I just like wanted to cry because I just like Honestly, it's really what I needed this week, I think, or just through, like, quarantine and just, I don't know, whatever it might be, but I just, like, I love her. I always have. I've always been, like, um, I've always just, like, had a lot of respect for her. I mean, it was literally just, it was so good. If you've never listened to my podcast, it's not, like, an influencer podcast, like, everyone says it's why they don't watch or they don't do it or whatever, but seriously, like, it was just like an amazing conversation and she built it cosmetics into 
like I don't even know and just like her perspective and like bringing faith kind of just talking about like faith in like business and entrepreneurship and stuff it was just like literally the best conversation and I love her and I cannot wait to um talk to her again because we're gonna do another episode but it was just amazing I literally love her so anyways I'm about to do an interview actually on Instagram live I've never done one of these but it's like recorded for some show all right guys it's 4 30 um my eyes are like kind of stinging I have just been podcasting and interviewing like all day I've recorded so freaking much um, but I think I'm just gonna go downstairs read. I don't have Bible study for like I have to FaceTime in like two hours So I was just going over that stuff. Um, I've basically been at my desk all day But this has been like one of the first days in a bit where I've really been like this in my office. I've definitely Definitely this is like working has just been Looking different lately. I've definitely chilled out. Um, I recorded for moon We were talking and she's like, what does your day-to-day -day look like because I'm like, what is Kinsey doing? I just want to make it very clear. I have not been like crazy productive and like super hard on myself or whatever i just am giving myself time to breathe right now like i think just a lot's going on a lot's just going on in life and it's like literally like my 2020 is nothing like i thought it would be obviously i don't think any of ours 2020 is what i thought it would be i think i might also buy a kindle but that's for another day who knows guys this is what i'm up to all right guys still in my office it's 8 p.m um we just had our zoom bible study that we've been having every week at tuesday night at Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Um, on Tuesdays if you guys haven't joined even if you're not into that sort of thing I promise it's like not intense like it's just a bunch of girls hanging out it's super fun talking about life but um, I share it on my Instagram story sometimes and there's also a Facebook group I will be sharing it this next week I'm gonna go on my rooftop and just relax it's so nice if you guys follow my Instagram you guys have seen all my rooftop stories tomorrow is a big day for the rooftop cleaning moving things around new rug Hopefully new turf, hopefully hanging that. It's a house day. But um, yeah, I'm actually starting a new book. I got the Before We Were Strangers book. I'll show you guys. But with all that being said, um, again, for the Bible study, I will be sharing it this next week on my IG. On my, I almost said IGTV, on my Instagram. That's what I will be doing. Days earlier, I did finish my book, The um, Behind Closed Doors. It was wild, kind of gave me anxiety. Um, I hate Drag Angel, but that's another story. Started before we were strangers because if I didn't, Lauren was going to kill me. So far, it's so good. I've, and then I posted on my story and so many of you guys DM'd me and told me it was incredible. I truly feel like I have a new level of connection with you guys. One, because of the Bible study. And two, because of my Instagram stories of the books I've been reading and how we've been talking about books nonstop. Um, I just am so passionate. Like, seriously, this has, like, changed my life. So, anyways, um, the sun is setting. I'm gonna go to the rooftop. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Um, the day that I replaced that fridge would be a great day, but I haven't really vlogged since yesterday. I don't even remember the last thing I vlogged. I think last night in my office. Um, I update. I started the Before We Were Strangers book, and I literally finished it within a night. I feel like I look so weird. Um, anyways, literally finished that book within a night. So, yesterday, I finished the last probably, like, 60 pages of what was it called why am i forgetting the name i've been reading too much guys if you guys are really interested in my um current reads and stuff i have a highlight on my instagram at kenzie elizabeth and then i have a whole post on i love you so much instagram i l y s m podcast okay so i finished behind closed doors that book slightly gave me anxiety my stepmom recommended it very good um and then i read before we were strangers and normally i read thrillers i haven't really read many like romance novels and guys, I like actually read it. It was like 200 something pages. I read it in one night, literally all last night, stayed up like four hours to read it. And I wanted to cry. I think I did tear up. It's just one of those books where it's like, <laughs> like you feel something, you know what I mean? So anyways, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, I am slightly sunburned. I mean, like not slightly sunburned on my back, but on my face, worked on the rooftop literally all day and I cleaned my house. Um, so I'm feeling really good. Like, it's just looking great. Also, guys, Jess sent me these flowers just because, just because, because she's literally just the cutest person ever. And I love her. So I have these flowers. Okay, so actually, yesterday, I wish I would have vlogged this when it arrived, but um, I'm working with Sakara on the podcast. And basically, they just have a lot of really great wellness products, like good detox teas, bars, all this stuff. And they also have like a meal prep service so they dropped off what is today wednesday yeah see this is thursday lunch um the dinner here we go so for dinner i have miso noodle soup 
with the miso warming broth. I have that somewhere too. Where did I put that? I need to organize my um, thing. Here we go. So they literally brought me breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next three days, and it's all really healthy. It's plant-based. It's really amazing. Um, I know I have a deal with them, so I'll put it on the screen. I don't know, like, right off the top of my head. I don't have my, like, read in front of me, but I'm really excited. Um, breakfast and lunch have been so good so far. You can eat this specifically cold or hot. I'm probably going to heat it up. It would take five minutes, but, like, it's already, like, cooked, cut. Like, you literally just grab it, and that's the meal. It is so amazing. I especially think I'm going to do this a lot when... Um, you know quarantine ends whatever that is um, for real. Oh my gosh. I just realized Dallas literally This is a little bit alarming. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think maybe I don't know I just am like I just think I'm just gonna stay in my house like why don't why would I leave my house at this point? You know if my rooftop looking not great. I'll show you guys in a second. Anyways, with all that being said um, that, Very weird but I'm gonna make my dinner really quickly. I think I'm actually gonna listen to the Redheads podcast. A lot of you guys have been telling me. It's like Jackie O from The Morning Toast. She's a book club podcast and they did one on Before We Were Strangers and I love that. So I think I'm gonna do it. Also, I was on Mood. I recorded with Lauren yesterday. So I was listening to that one. I literally never listen to my own podcast or like if I guess on something because I hate listening to my own voice, which is unfortunate when I like edit videos of myself for a living. But uh, yeah. Love that episode, you guys should go listen, and then I'm gonna probably listen to this one, I think. Very exciting. Just cooked an entire meal for my parents. I'm gonna have to somehow, I don't know how, I don't know why I put it on plates, because how am I gonna get it to them, you know? But I had Home Chef that I needed to finish because I had like Sakara. So it's just zucchini, chicken, mango, red peppers, um, onions, yeah. Very, very good, it smells amazing. I'm not hungry at all, I just wanted to cook as I listened to my podcast. All right, guys, this is a big rooftop update, okay? Um, I spent the entire day. I wish I would have done, like, a TikTok or something of transforming my roof because I cleaned these floors, like, bleached them, everything. It was really intense. That's why I'm sunburned a little bit. Um, but it looks so much better. It's not obviously, like, perfect or anything, but you guys just don't understand how gross it was before. So I bleached the floors. I did all of that. Like, everything was over here and then over there. There's just a lot, okay? Um, anyways, so... These have been moved here. One, it's better for laying out. And two, um, we have to like do what we can do with all these vents. So this is the best way to have like kind of hidden a lot of them. Obviously safely, like we're not like covering them or anything, but it made more sense for these to be here. And I liked them here better, but like it's just, that's just not what we have going for us today, guys. Trust me, trust me, I've tried. Um, then we have the pool. I started filling it up and it took forever, so I gave up on that for right now. Um, the turf gets in tomorrow, so I'll figure that all out with the dog park. We hung up some lights. I need to order another one, so I have um, it going around the entire rooftop, but they're really pretty. I'm gonna put them on tonight. Then we have this little other lounge area. The umbrella is coming on Sunday. Um, I'm gonna get a little mini ottoman thing. I've actually already ordered something online So if that finally comes in that would be great, but yeah, this will obviously I need to add plants and like color um, And this area looks the same, but that is it for the rooftop updates. It actually just looks so much better I literally love it up here so much. It's just absolutely incredible. Good day everyone um, I've been inside all morning. I got some work done um, I've actually been getting a lot of work done today, but I decided that I want to come to the rooftop and just lay out as I read. So beautiful, guys. I feel like this is just getting so repetitive because I'm just always on my rooftop. I've really become unhinged this quarantine. I haven't drank soda without, like, alcohol literally in, like, 10 years. So here we go. Spray. I'm going to read my book. Um, my nails are awful. I don't have nail polish over here, so that's really, truly tragic. Coco's right there. Oh my gosh, guys, my new episode with Jamie Kernlima came out. My favorite podcast episode I've ever done. Guys, she's just so encouraging. Like, she, I, I mean, I've talked about it a billion times in this podcast, but like, please, please, please go listen to it because I just think that you guys will love it. Anyways, I'm going to post some promo, lay out on the rooftop, and just kind of chill. All right, guys. Um, So, I'm so tired. It's only three. I was working. I laid out. I saw my swimsuit on my sunburn i'm probably gonna go back out and just keep reading but i actually wanted to end off this vlog i'm probably gonna cook hopefully i want to cook vodka facility again tonight that sounds 
so good and I also want to make an IGTV video if you guys don't follow me on Instagram you guys need to because a lot of my recipes and stuff I've decided like cooking videos are gonna be on Instagram because I wouldn't just make a full YouTube video of cooking with Kenzie it would just be like in vlog anyways um you guys know how much I love my niece Sophie so much and she turns five on Saturday so I obviously had to pick up some presents for her and I wanted to share them with you guys because they're very very cute um, and I love being an aunt and I'm sure a lot of you guys are but Anyways, the first thing I got, this is like my pool, but it's for her. It's this pink mini dip pools. If you guys are trying to get just like a kid's pool, um, check out mini dip. You guys have already seen mine, but again, like honestly, like three adults can fit in it. It's so crazy. And it's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, I can just picture her there wearing her pink heart sunglasses that I got her last year for her birthday. It's so cute. Also, she's crazy, so I got her twister. Um, hopefully her mom will be playing this with her, not me. Then, I also got these pink flamingo, little like their beverage floats, just kind of to be funny, but she loves those LOL dolls, so like the dolls can fit on those, you know? Um, some pool toys, some other pool toys. She's really into Harry Potter now, that's how she says it. Over quarantine, they introduced her and she's like obsessed. So I got her little Harry Potter pajamas because she loves like pajama things like this, which is like, I feel like weird for a kid, um, but it is so cute. And then it also comes with these shorts. All of this I got from Target, so I'll link it below. But anyways, I'm so excited. My favorite thing in the world is shopping for people. Like I love getting gifts. I just got my mom like a ton of Summer Friday stuff for Mother's Day. She asked for it because she's used mine and she's like, I'm just obsessed with it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. Let me know if you guys liked the week in my life vlog better than the daily vlogs. I just felt like the daily vlogs were getting so repetitive that I actually liked the week in my life vlog better. Not that this one's not repetitive, but guys, I'm quarantined. All I do is cook, clean, eat, read, work, but like I don't really vlog the work part, you know what I mean? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I love you guys so much. Seriously, I really do. And I'll see you guys on Sunday with my faith Q&A that's coming up. They were very excited for. So, love you guys.